So everybody's out there training, doing squats and jump squats and all these crazy exercises, thinking they're going to make their legs stronger. But really, everything comes from this one position over here. So as you can see, for him to be able to create that torque, he has to be able to keep his heel up and drive his toes down to the ground at, sa at the same time going from external rotation, which is his hip turned out, using his gluteus maximus muscle, which is the most important muscle in the body. It's the biggest muscle in the body and the most powerful muscle in the body. And create a pressure straight down to the ground. And the nerve that fires that is called the inferior gluteal nerve. It comes off of your lower back or your sacrum right over here. If you get these muscles to fire properly with a good back extension, these muscles will contract, elicit power, and drive straight down into the ground with a very tight force into his big toe, and then he'll be able to spin his leg inward by slowing down the control here called eccentric contraction. An eccentric contraction means that he's actually slowing down the gluteus maximus muscles in a very slow motion fashion to create that whipping motion with his arm. In order for him to do that, he has to drive his leg forward like that. So we're gonna do that with a little bit of more speed to show how the leg has to turn in. So tell us a little bit about how you create that, that twist of the, of the leg inward. Uh, you create the twist, you wanna turn, when you turn your shoulder, you want your knee and your shoulder to turn same time. So that you're hitting, um, you're hitting with like half of your body weight automatically. You know, if you, if you just, if you don't turn your knee and you just punch, then you're only hitting with your arm, which would you, let's say maybe 25 pounds, 30 pounds. So it's only like, you're only hitting like that. Secondly, if you don't turn your knee, then you're actually causing friction because this is not moving. So one is pulling one way and one is pulling the other way. So it's actually going like this instead of everybody going the same direction and snap right at the whole, the, from the knee to the glutes, mm -hmm. all snap same direction. Snap, just like that. Okay. You know? But if you don't turn, then you create friction because... And that's how you get shoulder injuries, guys. Yeah. To all my viewers over here, if you're boxing or doing any martial art that requires striking, if you are not creating this torsion, this twist of your hip inward, rotating your hip inward to create that whipping motion, that whip with the knee, that whip. If you're not creating that twisting quick motion, then you're going to have issues with your shoulder because your shoulder is going to be doing the majority of the load transference.